Hey up, welcome to Matt's Mindful Meals. I've finished work for the day, so I've got all my appointments done and I'm almost sorted, ready to go out to rehab. So I'm just snatching a couple of hours before the kids finish swimming to go and set my hammock up. Um, Cause I've had my new hammock back from DD Hammocks and uh, I just need to put the under blanket on it and then cover it in its sleeve. So it's ready for when I go down there. Cause I'm gonna take it with me so I can hopefully get a little bit of a hang done during the weekends when I'm not on the rehab course. So come along with me. I'm gonna make a, a few brews while I'm at it. And I've even got a, a pasty for my tea. It's a Highland pasty. So I'll probably put that on the firebox just to warm it through. Anyway, I'll chat to you in a little bit. I'll go find a couple of trees with a decent view of the sea. So I'll see you in a little while. Ta-da. So as you can see, I've come down to the beach a little bit. More or less got it to myself. Well, people are probably having the tea and things. So I'm trying to learn a few animal tracks and I'm actually getting quite good at this. I would say this is a black and white border collie with its name, probably Bonnie. Yeah, I'm cheating. I saw it two minutes ago and heard its owners shouting for it. <coughs> Sorry, my silly sense of humour. So, you'd probably be able to tell that this beach has got a very, very, very shallow angle out into the Moray Firth. Now, for that reason, it was possible to drive tanks and things up. So, some of the D-Day landings were actually practised on this beach. But these pillboxes that you'll see, and I'll get a bit close to one in a little while, they were put here in the war in case there was going to be an invasion onto the mainland of the UK and this was one of the places that they potentially could have used but now it's stunning, it's a little bit overcast but yeah, it's one of my favourite places to come to here we go, so we're getting close to one now and if you see the broken up ones that just follow a line and then you'll see some full ones too, that are still intact. Now they follow the line, it's a similar line to the coastline here. But what a lot of people don't realize is that they weren't put on the beach. They were actually put about five meters inside the tree line so they weren't spottable from the actual water. So they couldn't see, so that the enemy potentially couldn't see the defenses, however, with the erosion that I was talking to you about, the new tree line is over there and it's probably a good 60 meters away. So with my mat, it's a, a little under a meter a year we lose to the erosion. But I know for a fact that my kids love playing in these in the summer. Okay, so I found a little spot that'll just be right for what I need to do. So I only really need to string the hammock up between a couple of trees and then do little bits and bobs to it. I'm not staying here overnight. So I'll set the camera up and uh, we can have a little bit of time lapse for watching the waves and me putting this hammock up.
Right, this week uh, it's been interesting. Sunday I had quite a bad coughing attack. In fact, no, it was Saturday, sorry. So much so I couldn't get my breath back and it was really awful. Um, so much so that, yeah, it ruined the rest of the day. Um, but touch wood, past few weeks since I've now obviously tested negative for COVID and I can actually get off to the rehab centre. My mental health is actually a lot better. It was never really bad. I did have a few bad days where I was quite down. But now I'm looking forward to getting down to this rehab place. So while you're watching this, I'm either on my way down there or I've already arrived. So yeah, this week has just been about tying up the loose ends. But one thing I did do, I attended the final part of a course, which is run by a group called Nature for Health. And they do a, thing, a course which is all about using nature as a resource. So get people out into the woods and the outdoors, take them away from their normal urban environment and use nature and all your surroundings to try and help them with the mental health, whether it's giving them some mindfulness sessions or basically just giving them someone to talk to in a nice, gentle environment where they can open up and hopefully it will ease their problems some way. So I'm looking forward to getting involved quite heavily with that in the future because it means quite a lot to me. Um, so yeah, I'm here now. As you can see, it's a sunny, lovely day at the end of the week. And, uh, it's about what 12 degrees maybe even warmer than that hardly a breath of wind in the air hammocks now ready to take away from me not set it up as I was going to sleep in it I just needed to stretch it out put the under hammock on and then I'm going to put the snake over it you'll see that bit a little, little bit later so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to make myself a brew and just do my own little bit of a mindfulness session just be thankful for the things I have got and then make some wishes for the future for the things that I haven't got at the moment. The main one of that's my health. However, as I've already said, I'm off down to the Defence Rehab Centre this weekend and uh, hopefully that'll be the pathway to getting me back to where I was. Anyway, I'm going to make a brew. Speak to you in a little while. Starting to drop out. 
see my breath. It normally means it's going to be below 8 degrees, but I think probably about 5, maybe now. It was lovely and warm earlier. The sun's still there a bit. So we're going to have some fresh coffee today. I ground some up this morning. I brought that out with me. I can't wait to start being able to train again and get this weight off. It's really affecting my mobility and it just adds on to the whole thing. Nightmare, it's like a big catch-22 situation. Might have a bit more water. I feel the heat coming from that now. Most of this wood's pine. A little bit of spruce mixed in with it. But it's all the dead fall branches. So it smells a little bit like the incense from church sometimes. I really like it. And as I said, there's not much wind at all. There wasn't any waves on the sea. No matter where I sit, it tends to hit me in the face. I don't know, primeval about a fire. It warms you up on the inside, and I don't mean just like physical warmth. It seems to make you feel, make you feel comfortable. I know on some of the survival courses I've done, and at the end of all of the day, all the hard work you've done, pushing yourself to the limit, when they, you're finally able to get down in your dig out, dug out and get your fire going. It was like the world's best TV programme. really to burning pine and spruce is that you tend to get a lot of sticky soot on the side of your pots and pans.
might call me a heathen or whatever it is, but I'm from a council estate and I do like milk in the coffee. of you thought it had gone out. Highland pasty now. Just the embers in here. So just want to warm it through. You can tell I've been doing stuff now because so I'll just warm it through on here for a minute or two. in places like this just time just flies by and you come away from it feeling just so relaxed that's why I love it but yeah when I get back from this rehab centre hopefully I'll be able to start exercising more and eventually get out on the bike shed this weight and we'll be able to go so many more places. I'll either put stuff on the mountain bike and get gone or do multi-day hikes. All the stuff that I used to do in the past that's getting this illness is just stolen away from me. <laughs> I left that in on purpose just in case people are still watching at this point. There's an even better one that I'll put right in at the very end. Um, just after I put my little Matt's Mindful Meals logo on, you stay to the end of that. <coughs> You'll like that. Anyway, the pasty's done. I'm gonna eat this and then clear up and walk back. So hopefully the next time you'll hear me will be when I do a video from either Staffordshire or Yorkshire. So in the meantime, Keep smiling and enjoy the scenery. Take care. Draw.